Hey guys, get ready for ice fishing season here soon. Uh, hard water's coming up, and I have a uh, Hummingbird Piranha Max 4 uh, with down imaging that I use on my boat, and uh, I wanted to convert it over to use it in the wintertime as well, so I get use out of it all year. So this is uh, basically the setup I came up with. Um, actually, I was uh, influenced on this from my buddy Mike, so shout outs to you. Um, he used the same cooler for his setup. Uh, he's got a different model fish finder though um, But basically uh, same kind of setup that he did, but I'm here to share what uh, what we did here um, Igloo cooler Walmart Hummingbird fish finder mounted inside I the only thing I bought I bought an extra bracket so I didn't have to take it off my boat I could just use the, the thumb screw thing there and change it over um, it's built with a cigar box that fit perfectly inside. I put two little legs on this side um, That are the same height as the battery that's on this side um, Transducer all the extra wires wound up underneath and uh, Picked up this unit here that I have bolted to the transducer um, On Amazon, I'll put a link to that and uh, whatever I bought on Amazon There on the uh, bottom of the description. I'll put those links but uh, this basically tightens up whatever your depth of your ice is. You can adjust this. So first ice, let's say we're there. Um, this can go down the hole. This can be adjusted so it sits on top to kind of hold it so it don't fall down. Um, I have a couple more of these here in this pouch for when the ice gets thicker. I can add them on and make it go longer, uh, deeper in the hole rather. So that's basically a transducer setup. You see the fish finders wired up here to a seven amp hour battery, which I also picked up on Amazon pretty cheap. Um, then I wired in this voltage. Uh, gives your voltage there. I have a double USB charger so I can charge my phone and whatever on, on the lake through this. This is wired separately. Um, everything's put on a fuse. So if there's a, a short or something, it's not gonna cause any damage to my fish finder. It'll blow the fuse in line fuses. I'll try to take a little peek in here without pulling it off. I got some extra fuses in a bag. I don't know if you can see in there, but basically everything fits in there. There's a battery, it fits nice and tight in there. Just hooked up the charger. Um, put these ends on the charger as well as the fish finder. So my main line in my boat has the same thing. So in the summertime, when I switch over, I just Plug the other one in. Let me power it down here. And basically just pull that out. This one's to this one. And I can plug my charger to the wall. It'll charge the battery. And that's basically it. Uh, all fits inside this igloo bag, which I picked up at Walmart for like uh, 18 or $20, I believe it was. But that all fits in there. And Even put the charger in there when I'm not using it. Of course, they wrap up the cords a little nicer than that normally. Fit finder folds down like that and it zips all up. You got a couple extra compartments in this for storage. And put your uh, phone charger cord, things like that, in there. It has a nice hard plastic bottom so it won't soak up water on the ice. And uh, that's it. Weighs maybe eh, seven, eight pounds. The battery is the heaviest, heaviest part, but now I'm all set for the hard water with a mobile unit. Uh, if you like this video, please uh, subscribe and like. Have a great day and good luck out there on the hard water this year.